emergent writing. This is where we're going to see the child um, start to use the alphabet. Now, they're not going to be doing inventive spelling yet, but we're going to start to see the alphabet trickle in um, to drawings and pictures. And the alphabet is going to start to match up with, you know, maybe the initial sound of some of the pictures and drawings. So here, I want you to take a moment before we go on any further in terms of the emergent stage here. I want you to read over this right here for the emergent stage, right? Go ahead, do that now. Pause me. So in each one of these uh, many stages of the emergent stage, we're gonna see letters. Letters, labeling, so we're gonna start to see labeling going on. We're going to start to see environmental print. We'll talk about those. Okay. But the big idea is that, you know, we're going to start to see letters come into the, the uh, picture. And sometimes that letters, it's going to be used to just the initial letter that matches up with, let's say, uh, T is for tree or R is for rainbow. So it has a couple of things like the, like early, early on strings of letters or alphabet soup, uh, groups of letters, almost group like words. Um, the initial sound of words, D for dog, F for flower. And then this environmental print, a lot of times you'll either have print or a child will ask you like, uh, how do I spell this word? They're writing a thank you letter or they're writing a birthday letter or they're, they're doing some early writing and they'll ask the parent to help them with their spelling. How do I say, how do I spell I love you? And the parent's like, L. O, V, E, and the child uses that to match it up with the letters that they know. So at this point, <clears throat> let's put down here four years old, four-ish, um, you know, um, so this could be our three to four-year-old at the end of that three to four or four to five-year-old, but around or around this range here, the child has this, is has an awareness of the alphabetical principle. They're aware of those relationships and they start to apply them as they as their alphabet knowledge has increased they're starting now to match up some of those sounds that they hear in words with uh and put it in their writing or at least we start to see you know the alphabetical principle uh being used to map out the first sounds they hear in words okay all right so remember in the immersion stage we start to see letters okay uh, and let's take a look at um, um, let's take a look at this next case study involving emergent writing. Okay, this next question.